Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back at it again with another video. You already know. What's up guys? How are you doing? How's your Wednesday going? Yeah, 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 that's me, that's me, that's me. Um, I'm going to try starting... I'm going to try starting... Hey! I'm going to try to start posting two times a week during this holiday. Just because I feel like I haven't been pushing out enough content. So yeah, guys. Today, um, I asked you guys on my Instagram to send in questions about starting out on youtube anything to do with youtube just in case some of you guys want to start a youtube channel but just don't know where to start um so i have those questions here and i'm gonna answer them for you guys today so yeah, i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and let's get on into it how did you manage having to be consistent especially if you don't have content ideas let me just talk about consistency first consistency you just need to make time right shooting a youtube video if you're alone will take less than 30 minutes if it's not a vlog right if you're shooting a sit down video it'll be less than 30 minutes editing at most three hours if you're starting out because you really you don't want to make everything so perfect i would say what i used to do in the beginning especially with school the whole week no youtube except for like replying to comments and stuff saturday dedicated to youtube for my video edit it and put it up on youtube but like as private so that you guys won't see it until sunday so yeah that's what i would do i'll just dedicate one day is enough to shoot a whole video and edit it and have it up so that for me my posting schedule sunday it's up you know what i'm saying so just with consistency you just need to make time within your busy schedule and then not having content ideas i have struggled with um that before but when i was in a slump guys youtube is there for a reason um i'd look at some of my favorite youtubers and see oh i kind of like this video i want to recreate it um so yeah getting ideas from guys like that and making it your own you see that's how you get content would you advise someone to start a channel yes i would I think it's the best decision <laughs> I ever made um, because I I've, I watched YouTube a long time before starting my own channel. There was always a part of me that wanted to do YouTube like all the time. I didn't take it seriously. And then when I actually did want to start it, I was kind of like shy, like would people find me interesting? Like would they want to watch me? All I'm saying is if you know you're going to be committed, if you know you want to make it on YouTube, do it what problems have you faced so far exhaustion there are times i'm so exhausted from like things like school sports and my other commitments that when i think about oh my gosh i still need to film for tomorrow it like it's just the weight you know what i'm saying but the thing with me is that i will procrastinate like actually shooting until the last minute but the thing is because i enjoy it so much once i start like i'm immediately like elated you know what i'm saying so i because i enjoy doing it while doing it it's like Tiamo, you could have done this a while ago and would have been you know so i think it's exhaustion and procrastination because i procrastinate shooting which would lead to me because of exhaustion from other things what editing apps do you use um i use luma fusion um to edit my videos you have to pay for it though the only reason i I'm not about to pay for any apps but the only reason i have it is because um my dad edits um his sermons so he needed like a good quality editing app um so yeah i just still his <laughs> which category is best for beginners i don't think there's a set answer for this because well like it depends on what you like let me give you guys an example when i started off youtube i posted what i wanted to post right and then i had i'd always say oh guys let me know what you guys want to see as suggestions and i'd get oh do pranks shoot videos at school and that's just not what i enjoy doing so if i don't enjoy it i'm not gonna do it you know what i'm saying what you enjoy doing like what you find because obviously you watch youtube what do you enjoy watching on youtube replicate that and like like i said make it your own your category is the best category to start with how do you know that people will enjoy your content you never know that people enjoy your content you're basically taking a risk um because you want to do it um the biggest like 
driving factor for me is the fact that Tiamo, you want to push out content so push it out because you want to do it um and i will only post videos that i love you know what i'm saying so if i for example shoot a video and i don't like how it turned out i won't post it because i have a certain standard that i want my videos to be at you know what i'm saying i will only post um what i love and i will be hopeful that you guys will enjoy it too someone asked can you edit for someone and they pay you <laughs> how much money are we talking <laughs> i would say yes after school though because i am busy honestly no because i have to worry about my channel too you know and putting out the best content for it and already like you see guys after i like got to a point where i loved the way i edited my videos like i always wanted my videos to be at that level or better you know what i'm saying or better i take hours on hours on hours on hours on hours just editing one video because i wanted to be at a certain standard you know what i'm saying that already takes so much of my time that like if i to, if i was to think oh my gosh i need to make this other person's video perfect i'll take forever so what would you say is your niche on youtube um i don't know if i have a niche do you guys think i have a niche um i like shooting vlogs um problem is um i don't do them enough as you know the problem is is my life is it's interesting sometimes you know what i'm saying it's interesting sometimes so that five percent where it's interesting i should have vlog but the 95 percent time where i'm sleeping in my bed doing nothing like i can't shoot a vlog what are you guys gonna watch you know what i'm saying so i like shooting vlogs i like watching vlogs i think that's why but i also like i, I like shooting videos with my friends because that's really fun i like also like different opinion videos you know you're just getting like the different opinions of different people that like yeah because i always want to like learn from other people where like i agree and stupid like just stuff like the things that include people that's why like i genuinely really love public interviews I'm trying to get back to them i don't know when um because i like hearing other people's opinions on certain topics how to grow your channel consistency because even though i've been pretty consistent with my youtube i've taken like months off which is like really terrible because i i genuinely believe you can only find time to take five hours of you, out of your day film edit upload like i genuinely believe that but when there's like lack of motivation obviously no but consistency is like the biggest thing because the more you post like think about it the more you post the more YouTube's algorithm will push out your content to different people in different countries. Also, I think establishing some sort of base on other social um, media platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Um, I was lucky to like already have a little bit of a following on Instagram because then I was able to every Sunday I'm like, guys, video going up at three with like those little snippets of what the video is going to be about um and that like gets people excited and then at three o'clock they immediately tune in because they're like oh i want to see what this, is, what this is about you know what i'm saying so i believe consistency is key what does a person need to expect when starting a youtube channel being exhausted lack of creativity the times you'll go into a content block where you have no idea what you want to post you have no idea what you even want to talk about so you should expect having bad days and it's okay someone asked how to get an audience remember how i said establish some sort of base on other social media platforms um if those people are already following you for example on instagram they're some they're kind of in like interested in your life you know what i'm saying so if you then be like oh guys i'm posting a video they some people will then be redirected to youtube um so yeah and the more you post like i said the more you post the more youtube will push out your videos and then more people will see them how to gain confidence it will come as you as you continue on youtube it will definitely come because you'll get used to the camera you see what i'm doing now talking to a camera when i started it was so weird i was like tell me how are you doing speaking for a camera in the beginning it'd be weird you won't know what to say but as you continue doing it the confidence will come how do i start without a camera you don't need a camera love 
you have your phone if you have your phone like a phone with decent quality um you're good that's literally to start off all you need is a phone and then editing app you know, chilling man i'm not active on social media will i be able to get views and subscribers yes if you are consistently posting on youtube you know what i'm saying because then youtube's algorithm will do the work for you but it will be harder because i don't mm, a lot of people will see on on like other social media if you like advertise a video that's coming out they will see it and be like oh i want to watch it you know what i'm saying but if now like no one knows and you just expect the people who are subscribed and like have turned on their post notifications by the way turn on your post notifications to be updated to be notified every single time i upload a video um it's a little bit harder you know what i'm saying so yeah how long does it take to gain at least 500 subscribers i don't know how long it took for me hey that's crazy i'm not too sure how long it took for me to gain my first 500 subscribers but guys if i can give you one piece of advice that you should listen to from this video consistency because people like what is consistent people despise when something is it's here oh it's really nice and then for a month now then oh really nice and then like giving people <laughs> i did my nail by the way <laughs> i'm giving people snippets 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 they're not going to appreciate it you know what i'm saying but if you are consistent people will genuinely come back because they're like oh especially if the content is interesting there's a difference between just posting content and posting interesting content if it's interesting people will definitely keep coming back because they're like oh this is a nice way to start off my week i mean if you are uploading on sunday like me um so yeah guys that's like oh, if you can take one thing from me is consistency i know i haven't been the best at it myself um but i'm trying i'm trying to you know patch up this year is gonna be a little bit shaky but i think you guys understand why um so yeah guys i hope you guys learned a thing or two from today's video i really hope i helped anyone who really wants to start a youtube channel um all i can say is go for it go for it because you're gonna be so happy when you do it and you're thriving um so yeah guys thank you so much for tuning in i hope to see you guys next sunday i love you so much um yeah guys bye